Hi, I'm Nate the Maker, and today I want to show you how I made these DIY corn split keyboards. All right, so I'm about to get started on making this side of the keyboard. Um, the first thing we're going to do is work with these diodes. They're incredibly small. Um, that's what the tweezers are for, so we can pick them up and then put them into place. Um, so we have to put the diodes in these little areas right here that are marked off with the triangle and a line. There's a little white line on each diode, and that needs to correspond to the white line that's on the triangle where it's pointing, because diodes only work in one direction. So if we mess up, we'll just have to flip them around later, but we should be okay. Let's get started. I like to just put a little bit of solder down on each one before I do it, and then just put the diode into place after. Now these diodes are a little tricky to handle at first, but once you get the hang of the first couple, you'll start flying through them. So I want to make sure the diode is lined up in the right direction. Apply heat to one side, place the diode, apply heat to the other, and make sure the diode has a solid connection between both pads. And there you go. You just got to do that 42 times and it's easy. <laughs> So now I have a complete board with all the diodes necessary. The next step is to add these hot swap keyboard connectors. And what these are going to do is attach to the bottom of the switch and allow me to solder the connector to the board and not the switch, which means whenever I need to change one of these, I can just pull it out and put in a new one and not have to deal with unsoldering this and then resoldering it after. Now these have a very similar install procedure. If anything, they're a little easier because they're bigger. So I'm just going to do a couple and then fast forward through the rest. So we're going to take these big pads over here, add a little bit of solder. Then we're going to take these little pieces, line them up so they're in this little whited out area. And just heat up the solder, push them through. And that's it. Now what this is going to let us do is when the board is complete, we can take our switch and just put it directly in like this. And that's going to hold all of our switches in place. And when we want to put in a new switch or if this one breaks or something, we can take it right back out. That's instead of soldering this directly to the board where that will be much more difficult. So let's do the rest of them. So now we have the board all soldered up with the diodes and the hot swap components. So now we can go to any key in here, grab a key switch, and throw it in and just make sure it stays in like that. And we'll go ahead and add in all those when we're done. Now the next step is to add our Elite C to the board. So we're going to do that by soldering on these leads and then soldering the leads to the board. Let's get started. Now these are going to sit in here in the holes that are marked with the box. So I'm going to put those in. Put those in. And now we're going to flip it over, pushing those through while we're at it just so we make sure that they're all the way through. And take our solder, and we're gonna solder them on the other side. Now if they get all bunched up, you can just heat up all of it and reflow it to make sure you have a good connection down there. Look at that. Just like that, and we're good to go on the bottom. So we're gonna flip the board back over. We'll take our Elite C and install it upside down so the pins match. A little bit of fussing later. And we'll do the exact same thing we just did on the bottom, but on the top. Cool. Now look at that. A couple minutes later, and it's all soldered up, all soldered along the bottom there. And then 
it's all soldered along the top here. Again, not the prettiest, but it will do. So the next step is to add this TRRS jack. So this TRRS jack will go right here. And what this will do is basically run an audio jack, audio cord from one side of the keyboard to the other. So you'll notice here we've actually, oh, well I just soldered this on the wrong side of the board. So when you're doing this, make sure you solder your Elite C or your Pro Micro on the opposite side of the board than the diodes and the hot swap components. This piece is supposed to be on this side. So I'm gonna take a few minutes off camera and I'll get that all sorted out. All right, so here we are. Off camera, I went through and I took the Elite C off this side and put it on the correct side. I also actually went ahead and added this TRRS slot and this little LCD screen. Now the TRRS is what that's gonna do is connect both sides of the keyboard. And so you're gonna have one plug on one side and one plug on the other and then they'll plug in and you'll have the split keyboard. So you can have fingers typing on both sides. So we'll show that in a little bit. Anyway, the next step to do here is all the fun stuff. So now it's time to assemble this board and just put all the switches and the caps and then put a little case on it. So the next step is to go ahead and start putting the case together. So we're gonna put all of the key switches in here and then we're gonna attach that to the bottom plate and this will go underneath, just like that. All right, so we're gonna take our plate and we're gonna start adding in all of our keys. All right, now that we have all of our key caps in place, we're just gonna take it over to the board and being very careful to make sure all the pins are going into the correct hole. We're gonna sl slightly start to apply pressure and make sure we're not bending any of these copper pins. And then after going around and being nice and gentle, everything will start to line up, get pushed into place. And look at that. You have all your keys ready to go and installed. So now we're gonna go ahead and get the back plate and screw all of these on so we'll have a nice little container for our keyboard. All right, now that we have all the electronics finished, it's just time to put on some keycaps. So I have a beautiful set of GMK dots that I've been waiting to put on my own custom keyboard. Um, it finally came in the mail and I'm gonna put them all on and nice little keycap that started off as an April Fool's joke because like the title, it's just a whole bunch of dots. And because I can program this to map to any keys that I want, it really doesn't matter that there aren't letters and symbols on top. So I may have forgotten to mention, I have some purple, some Zelios purples on here, and that's the uh, switch of choice I'm going with for these keys. Decided to go with some nice ones for these nice keycaps that I got going on. All right, now there you go one half of a corn keyboard and now all we got to do is program it decide which keys go where and make the other side ta-da now you may notice this one has a purple pcb and that's because it's from a different kit um, the case is also black but it shouldn't matter because asymmetry is in these days i also am probably going to make a different custom case these ones are kind of bare um, but that'll be a future video so now back to these little cables right here. These keyboards get connected with the TRRS cord. They'll go together. 
then there'll be a USB-C cord that'll go from here to my computer. And there you go. A full corn keyboard. Now the cool thing about this one is that they're ortholinear, so all the keys are gonna be right on top of each other. The other cool design about this is that each key is only one movement away from the last one. So the farthest reach is only one out here. This is from one, one there. Um, and it just provides for a nice ergonomic keyboard tapping experience. I like to take this moment to thank my patrons for supporting me on this video. Not only did they provide me with the support to make new content, they also provided some of the materials for this video. Um, so a big thank you to them. And if you have any interest in supporting my channel or making other videos in the future, go ahead and check out the link in the description and look at me over on Patreon. Thank you. So I'm super happy with how these turned out. Luckily I already used a split keyboard, so this will be an easy adjustment. In the future, I may want to print or make a little custom case out of wood just so that this isn't sitting directly on the desk. But for now, this is a great keyboard. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about soldering and inspired to go make your own keyboard or another project. Um, if you look around this channel, I have plenty of other videos on how I make a whole bunch of different stuff from sewing to room renovation where I made this room in general. Coming soon, I have another BB-8 video where I make these custom battery packs. All right, see ya.